We are worldwide walkers, a wacky international couple who loves to travel. We have been filming our crazy journey around the world ever since we packed our bags and left home. In this vlog, we will show you our experience in Empire Bay, the more authentic side of Korong Samluan. So, we're almost leaving this place and we're heading towards the next uh, spot on the island, which is like 20 minutes with the boat north. It's called Empire Bay, if I'm... You're right. I'm right. Which is a little bit more back, back at hot spots. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think we're gonna take you guys with us. Okay, let's go. Cutest stay ever. Just yeah. look around. It's they pretty nice. They built yeah. like small rocks into the wall, yeah. and it's like if you look outside, we have our own little porch with a little swing, and there's like a little palm tree, and it's just Bathroom. so cute. I really love this place. Yeah, it looks very uh, cozy. We quickly realized that Empire Bay was completely different than the more touristic Saracen Bay. There's a lot of colors. I don't know where to go. See a lot of colors. In Empire Bay, you see more locals than tourists. It almost feels like you're on a different island. You're surrounded by many locals who are very friendly and welcoming. <laughs> Don't rely on others. And some of them were more curious about us than others. Dreams are not the same for me. We must admit, we were equally curious about them and their way of life on this island. You easily get the feeling that you entered a small society where everyone knows and helps each other. But not everything is as it should be in paradise. So this is the sad part. Uh, there's a lot of trash on the uh, beach here. Coming from the Xianuk village or other ports that have been taken over. Luckily, there are some good people on the island who give a helping hand. <laughs> is that all trash coming from the uh, other side? Yeah, literally. Wow. That, is, that is crazy. With so much trash coming in from the ocean and no recycling system in order, it's pretty common to burn the trash in Southeast Asia. We loved our time in Empire Bay, but we learned some sad news that we think we should share with the future travelers to Korong Samluen. We are currently sitting at the beach. The little town is that way. There's nothing that way. And we have a few uh, beach docks coming this way also. Go. It's just, it's great here. It's so calm. There's a lot of these swings here, which yeah. can just chill out. And there's a dude hammocks. riding his scooter in, in the, the water. In the ocean, Sorry, actually. Sorry, I have to film that. That's just so crazy. <laughs> okay. How is that gonna work out for you, man? <laughs> so I've been walking around a lot on this island while she was doing some sunbathing and uh, some uh, island bathing. stuff I suppose and according to few resources um, right behind us actually you can see it right now but there is a resort being built yeah they're by clearing Chinese. they're clearing the forest and they're gonna make a yeah. huge resort here yeah. on the calm beachfront mm -hmm. which sucks you know if a big resort comes here yeah. It comes with many people mm -hmm. who want to pay a lot of money to have a really good holiday, yeah. which is fair enough, but they don't know how it could ruin the local life here. Yeah. I don't know when this resort will come, if they will have the uh, intent to recycle, but we can imagine that a lot of uh, trash will come with it as well. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of, uh, you know, 
consuming. Yeah. And this place is so small, so just imagine all these boats coming and going all the time. Yeah. There's already a lot of boats coming and going, but a regular pace but if there's gonna be a huge resort with a casino and all yeah. and it's gonna oh, be yeah. a little bit crazy I think Come. I will go have a look what actually happens over there if it's possible to uh, video but so if you want to visit this place to have the authentic Cambodian uh, island life island life because a lot of it's, it's very interesting how the people live here you should uh, try and go stay at the guest houses yeah because um, there's a lot of good guest houses here and a lot of nice families. Yeah. So support them. You want to go for a small dip? Yes. Yeah? Okay, let's do that. Why not? I'm wearing my cape. The Cape Crusader. Lose that cape. He's flea balling you again. Flea balling my shoes. Mm. Mm. It's quite nice though, a lot of dogs here. They have no name, so you can just call them whatever. They will follow you around the island. And this is where the ocean meets the fresh water. And Cecilia is gonna try to go over it. I instead I try to keep it safe. Freshwater turtle. Yeah. So cute. They have that here. Just focus. <laughs> I know you. So this was supposed to be forest. Apparently. They took a big chunk of land. And then in there, they took an even bigger chunk of land. I don't know what they're doing in there. And I think it's only the beginning. So, it's over gonna there. Be huge. You can see they're burning the trees. Yeah. Everything is burned. So, people, that yeah, is what that happens. That also means that this beach will not be quiet in a few years. No, so. it will not. Probably not. But I mean, everything changes. They always build more and more. It's just when it's these massive resorts can sometimes ruin a little island. And for it's what a very reason? Very small, small island. And yeah. They don't even have cars. That's how small it is. Mm -hmm. so they have one horse, though. They have one horse. That's the way to get around. <laughs> no, but like, you just yeah. don't know how it'll look in the future then. But yeah, get the best out of it. my <laughs> So next up we are going to a hostel called The Cliff and apparently it's the place here where you are supposed to see the best sunset. So I suppose this is the last minutes or minutes even of our vlog. It's the most epic music that is coming right now. The end has come and we have to move on again, once again. Tomorrow, mm -hmm. take an overnight bus from Siena to see Marie's. 12 amazing. hours in a bus, we have no idea if the roads will be paved or just dirt. They will not. Um, but she's stacked with some motion sickness pills. I am not. I'm just going to be in a roller coaster for the 12 hours. Uh, I might get pissed before I uh, get on that bus. But yeah. It was really nice to be here. Mm. I really liked it. Me too. I think if you visit Cambodia... Yeah, go around somewhere. I know it's cliche to, to say that no. everywhere you go, like uh, you have to go there, but this is one of those pearls. I think this was my, my favorite spot so far. I really oh, like wow. the other places as well, but yeah. around somewhere. Still yeah. untouched somehow. Hopefully it stays down like that. Oh, we have oh. a friend. Oh, a cutie. Hey. Anyways, we're gonna enjoy this evening and let you enjoy the sunset with us. And I would just like to thank everybody to stay with us on our journey. 
for the sunset. And more than that, probably. <laughs> but right now, just for the sunset, so I enjoy in, uh, I suppose, three, oh, three, <laughs> two, one. 